Welcome back YouTubers to my channel, of an everyday life of an ASP. If you're following me and you're new to my channel, I welcome you all. I'm ASP, I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and sharing my life stories with you all, taking you all on a journey what life is like for me as an ASP and also just tips and advice along the way with your personal health versus your general health. Also do some fun and games along the way on my journey and if you haven't seen them and you would like to see more of them I suggest to maybe go and visit my channel and see if it's something of failure to you and if so maybe you want to join me if you do feel free to subscribe to my channel with the bottom right hand corner of the screen there should be a subscription subscribe button basically so that you can hopefully join journey with me as well as being part of the YouTube family to, to get to know me and understand me more of an autistic or whatever you want is your purpose today to land on that page. Also while you're there if you did decide to join, you know subscribe and join me on this journey just to turn on the notification bell so you can keep up to date to all the new content that's about to come out hopefully this month especially if I can push it out for the autism and series which this one is all about the All Together Autism conference this coming two weeks hopefully of this month of August if not hopefully it will continue in early September it's of the latest hopefully once I get my research up to play of what I want to share with you all based on this topic so if you're wanting more information don't be afraid to actually send me a message via on my one of my links on Twitter or Facebook of SB Answers and I'll do my utmost best to respond to any of your questions or whatever it may be that you would like to be addressed. So in all further ado guys, before enough of the rambling, I want to bring out now the All Together Autism Conference that I didn't end up sadly going that was in the Auckland Airport in basically in New Zealand here where I'm based at. So this was a two day event that was put together for people on the autism spectrum as well as their family, friends or whoever that wanted to know more about this conference even though there has been some of the key speakers that are autistic alike as well as also just some speakers from overseas that were bringing out some of the important topics. So you may be questioning to me right now what autogetherism is all about basically which Obviously, they are a free nationwide service here in New Zealand where I'm based at. I think from memory, they are based in Auckland, New Zealand. If anyone of you who are from New Zealand and is autistic or what have you and has heard about this, please correct me if I'm wrong in the description link below. Obviously, Altogether Autism is an organisation, New Zealand nationwide organisation. Basically, they offer basically autism spectrum information and some advisory services basically that's provided as, into the partnership of two other organisations which is Life Unlimited and the Charitable Trust which is a charitable trust for people obviously and uh, another organisation is Parent to Parent New Zealand. I have also briefly shared what these two organisations and the other altogether autism conference that I went to earlier this year basically I think it was or last year and I will link it in the description so that you can get the key notes from that sort of thing with the vast amount of obviously information that it is online they find to create some information basically online which with this informed information based on autism and all these other everyday topics that I'm sharing as well as maybe what they have researched it has become challenging for some of them but they do their utmost best to actually keep up to date and current with the information that they give us to out to us so that we can be informed it's not just for people with autism though this website that I'm sharing with you all today it can be for people that really wants to know more about it that it may be their family friends colleagues and whatnot so that you know it can provide you that necessary information that you are requiring. The service also has information that is well individually researched as shared with in response to what you want providing that information to meet the needs of each specific request that comes in via email or whatever. I'll give you the contact information in this introductory piece of this in the description below basically so that you can actually have a look into this and if it's anything that you do require maybe they the team there can help help you in a way 
Um, also, basically, in saying this though, with the conferences that they hold, they hold two every year, which, like sadly, as I said before, I didn't go to the one that I would love to go to because it would give me the chance to, you know, mingle with people at my age group, you know, and get to know them, you know, as well as maybe getting off my comfort zone by socialising, not just socialising, but just to hopefully go get the notes I wanted sort of thing. But with All Together All Them, they ran a conference, basically, as I said, that every two years that brings together people, you know, from all over the world of international and New Zealand speakers and advisors about autism. This year's conference, was, as I said, was held in Auckland Air Holiday Airport in basically for two days on the 19th and 20th of July, just being and gone. This is f for people with autism and family and friends or what have you that obviously do make up the significant number of attendees and many of the speakers that come on the spectrum themselves, basically. So in the next bit over, obviously I'm going to hopefully link up to you guys in the video if you want to stop it to have a look what the program outline looked like for those two days. You can which I advise of you guys now if you're interested of that program outline for those two days to stop this video now to see it running through the screen. And saying this, some of this program outline will hopefully be listed in the description below along with some other keynotes that hopefully will come into play like the keynote speakers and whatnot, what they spoke about and everything else in this introduction video that I've just clearly shared with you all. And this also, there was obviously a conference presentation which I'll briefly share right now before I introduce the key speakers and what the topics were in more depth and what they do and what not and hopefully we can get to know each other and, and saying this also, before I end this, I will also, in these presentations that were shared, We'll do some research and with these key speakers and the topics that were addressed, I'll do them individually and put them into the playlisting of the Altogether Autism Conference playlist I think I've already created for you all, for you to follow if there's any topics that I'm about to share with you is of interest to you. So there will be some keynotes from the speakers of... Maria and Josh Mann, which their topic was all about growing up with the bald one-eyed pirate, which is a bro brother-sister perspective on living life with autism. Another one was Rita Jordan, current and her one was current understanding of the autism spectrum and the implications of education and support. And she also did something about the self-harming behaviours also, which will come into play with the presentations list. So also the presentations that were included was Cat Noakes, Duncan and Louise Dokal Ryan, which her, their topic was He Kai K Akuringa. Obviously what is abbreviated to, or meaning of it is in Māori to English here in New Zealand is There is Food at the End of My Hands, which is the story of the Spectrum Playgroup. Another speaker or presentation was Daniel Shepard, Risa Casco, Kelly Ty, Jason Landon and Sonia Goreke School of Public Health and Psychosocial Studies, Auckland University of New Zealand, basically, of technology. Hilary Stace, a life for Ashley and the role of allies, or allies, I should say. John Craven, specialist thing, seizing the opportunity of autism, a global shift. Kitty Opai, what is the Māori word for autism? Is there such for form of a term for this. Rachel Wichner, the C word, personal experiences of coping with change and growing up as an Aspie on her life journey with it. Maureen and Tor Poulter, a journey of empowerment. Rita Jordan, again, as I said, addressing self-interest behaviours basically across the autism spectrum, the issues and supports basically and prevention. Tanya Patterson, psychological health substance and use of and autism basically and there were some workshops there also which will be listed also so in all saying this though hopefully guys basically this is just a quick overview for this bit which I'll briefly assess and hopefully you'll enjoy these next few bits 
And until next time, sit tight and I'll be with you shortly in the second part, which will be introducing the key speakers. If you like these or any of these, please comment below. You know, follow me basically on the journey. Do what you love, love what you do. Share these videos around. Follow me on my, you know, media information down there on the description. Feel free, as I said, to subscribe if you haven't done so. Feel free to also, basically, if you want to subscribe and be part of my journey, to, as I said earlier in the piece, to turn on the notification bell to keep up to date. So, no further ado, guys. Do what you love, love what you do. As I said, until next time, I'll see you soon.